Mermaids. Mermaids are half woman and half fish. As you might know, they are the female half of the merfolk. And the male half of the population is referred to as mermen. Mermaids are popular creatures of fantasy that always make an appearance whenever there's a sea or ocean involved. And The Witcher is no different, as there is a large ocean located to the west of the continent. I've talked in another video about the many creatures that inhabit the waters of the continent. Yet for this video, I wanted to specifically talk about mermaids. Mermaids are no creatures of the imagination for those that live on the continent. They are aware of their existence. They sing about them in songs, which are especially popular among fishers and sailors. They have been in the great sea for as long as anyone can remember, for they were there before humans arrived in this world. In the era before mankind drove the elder races from their land, the elves and merfolk were most likely in connection with each other, for the merfolk speak in the elder speech. But this is with a twist, as they added a singing rhythm to it, which makes their speech more melodious. This is not to say that they don't have the ability to speak the common tongue, for they are able to speak the human language, they just prefer their own language. We don't know a lot about the merfolk society, however from the bits of information that we do have, it seems like they are very social, living in groups and maintaining personal relationships with each other. But not just each other, as they can form romantic relationships with humans. As was the case with the mermaid Shinas and the duke Aglogval of Bremervoort. There are however a few problems with human mermaid relationships. For one, humans can't breathe underwater. And mermaids, even though they can breathe air, are sensitive to the sun which hurts their skin and therefore they can't last long above the surface of the sea. But the problems don't end there, for having children is not possible between these species. Mer people procreate like, well, fish, while humans don't do it like fish. Therefore, if a man and a mermaid want to be able to live together and have children, one of them will have to make a sacrifice, to become human or to become a merman. This transformation is possible with the use of magic. Sorcerers and sorceresses can turn mermaids into people. The process, however, takes some time and is very painful. On the other hand, mermaids may use the aid of sea witches who can transform people into mermaids and mermaids into people, almost instantly and without pain. It's therefore assumed that these sea witches might be more powerful or gifted in magic when it comes to transformations, than the magic users that dwell on the land. Mer people can be seen as one of the ruling classes of the ocean. They are peaceful most of the time, yet they may have to fight whenever humans are destroying their seafloor or when the Vojinoi are out for conflict once again. If the need for conflict arises, they will fight. They are able to summon krakens to sink ships and ride into battle on the backs of dolphins and hippocampi, which they ride and train in a similar fashion to how humans train horses. Yet once again, I have to mention that they are mostly peaceful, and most of the times when people think mermaids attacked, it actually were sirens. The main difference in looks between these two are the bat-like wings that a siren has which allows them to fly. They can take a monstrous form, which the mermaids can't. Another way to easily recognize mermaids is by their green hair and nipples. Their skin, however, isn't green as far as we know. They are said to have almost perfect looking upper bodies, which is something that almost every sailor seems to agree on. Nereids are often mistaken for mermaids, yet there are some differences in between them with Nereids being classified as nymphs. A nymph you might know from the games is actually the Lady of the Lake. Nereids originally were supposed to be in The Witcher 3, yet they were cut from the game. They were supposed to be individuals that could summon a viper if they were in the water. 
Nerite sounds like a great enemy, yet fighting them would have been turned into a crossbow shootout match, because you can't find any other way in the water besides using a crossbow. But back to mermaids. We never see them in the games, for they are only referred to on a few occasions. One of those being by the Lady of the Lake in The Witcher 1, who tells Geralt that she has heard about him from Shinas. Shinas, who I mentioned earlier, had at one point during the books prevented an all-out war between the land and the sea dwellers. When her beloved, the Duke of Bremervoort, was angry at the sea dwellers for they had killed pearl divers that trespassed on their land, he wanted to go into an all-out war of the civilizations in the ocean. Among them, the mermaids and the Vodunum. He didn't care if it would take generations, but he wanted to wipe them all out, like how the humans had driven the elves off their land. Shinas stopped him, by having her tail be turned into legs by a sea witch, so she and Agloval could live together, and there would be peace once again between ocean and land. Shinas her tail was based on the Little Mermaid, with then the line at some point talking about how he would write a ballad, which basically would be the original darker fairy tale of the Little Mermaid. I originally tried to have another video done for today about Essie Daven, yet it took somewhat longer, so that will have to wait till next week. Till then, bye.